Hi, I'm Bill Rubenstein, your SAT expert at Professorate.com. Here we're going to talk about the SAT verbal sections. What are they all about? A lot of experts have made a living out of attacking the SAT. They say it doesn't predict success, whatever that means, or that it doesn't measure reasoning ability as well as it should. They find sympathetic audiences too, especially among students who are already worn out by schoolwork and nervous about college applications. Some of these experts offer coaching services at a high fee, of course, proposing ways to trick the test, that is, using shortcuts to improve your score. After tutoring the SAT for several years, I find this approach cynical and self-defeating. Whether or not the SAT is a perfectly designed test, it remains a thoughtfully designed one. And it's a test that attempts to evaluate skills which are of great importance to every student, and indeed to anyone who wants to improve their ability to detect true arguments from false ones, or simply to engage on a serious level with the issues of the day. Why is this? Because the SAT reasoning test attempts to find out whether or not the test taker is actually thinking, or at least using certain thinking skills, which sometimes get labeled reasoning. And while human beings have various ways of acquiring knowledge, reasoning is a fairly important tool to have in the modern world. How does the SAT verbal test attempt to find out if you know how to reason? By examining your ability to read, write, and think using the English language. That doesn't mean just understanding vocabulary. It means understanding how the mechanics of language and the mechanics of thought are integrated. In school, kids are taught a lot of things. But except in AP courses or in other exceptional circumstances, thinking isn't one of them. 